There are several steps when buying a home. One of them is likely going to be some form of a third-party home inspection. Hi everybody, my name is Chris. I'm with Homes in 719.com here in Colorado Springs. This video is all about the home inspection process, as it's very likely you'll have some form of a third-party home inspection while buying what is likely the most expensive thing you've ever purchased. And that's a good thing. However, you need to know a few things about the home inspection process. The first you need to know is in Colorado, home inspectors are not licensed, um, so anybody can claim to be a home inspector, meaning that they're not necessarily they don't have to be certified. They, literally, they can create a website if they wish and, cur and become a home inspector. Now, it's not likely that you're going to find one like that. Many of them have some form of online training. Some of them go a little bit further and have hands-on training. And then even more have a lot of hands-on training. So one of the things that I went through and had to do is research all the different uh, home inspection certification bodies that are out there. And there are several. And if you go to pick a home inspector, it's a really good idea that you go and review it. I know it's going to take some time. But what my research showed is that some of these certification bodies out there um, don't inspect things that you likely want them to inspect. For example, I found some that do not inspect any major systems on a home, meaning the furnace, the water heater, the roof. They don't go on it, they don't look at it, they skip it completely. Um, some other ones do go on the roofs. So after all my research, one of the company and one of the sanction bodies that I really thought was probably leading the pack as far as um, the general consumer goes, but Make sure you double check it and, and they haven't changed it or you want different inspections done is a group called ASHI. It's A-H-S-I. If you look up that website, you can go to, um, go to them and look for home inspectors in Colorado Springs that are certified. So if you can find that one, then you can find have some level of um, comfort knowing that they've had some extensive training and that they know what they're looking at. Now, the other options that you have are to hire individual licensed insured um, contractors come and do the home inspection, which might not be a bad idea either. However, it's probably gonna cost you a lot more to do so. And you may actually not get as good as an inspection. Contractors typically are really good at doing remove and replace or reconstruction dealing with permits. They're Wheelhouse is not normally doing some form of home inspection. So if you try to go down that road and you only want to hire maybe an HVAC and a plumbing guy because you don't care about anything else, then make sure that they're dialed in a little bit about what they're going to be looking for. Ask them, what are you going to be looking for on my inspection before I hire you? Roofers, on one hand, they typically come and inspect the roof for free no matter what. So you might just, even with a home inspector or if you're going the contractor route, you might still call a roofer in to have them look at it because a roofer has a lot more knowledge about the roof than any one of the other ones do. So, um, But always ask questions, what are you going to be looking for? What do you consider to be pass-fail? Now, one of the most important things you need to understand about a home inspection is that the home inspector has liability. What does that mean? So if the home inspector screws up, most of the contracts you're going to have to sign with the home inspector is going to cap their liability at the cost of the home inspection. Meaning that they totally screw it up, the most you're ever gonna get out of them is the amount of money you pay them to do the inspection. You're not gonna get repairs, a roof, none of that. So that's a little bit of a, uh, can be an issue if they really mess something up and miss something huge on the purchase of your house. The next thing is because of the liability that they have, they tend to use words that elevate or make things worse seem worse than they likely are so you'll get this report it'll have red text about things saying um, you know recommend inspection by a certified um, person now this can be for nearly anything i have seen that statement put on door trim decks uh, flooring have item inspected by a certified installer um, so try to put yourself in the seller's shoes when you get this report and go, okay, what is reasonable for me to ask to have repaired? Now you could literally take the whole report and send it to your, your seller and say, I want everything on this fixed. 
or you can do something which I consider to be more reasonable is pick out the ones that really bother you and, and would be a deal breaker if they don't fix them and then ask the seller to fix those items and also make sure that your realtor downgrades or accurately describes what you want fixed not necessarily what the home inspector asked to be fixed so sometimes a home inspector uh, will put that kind of different language in there well, what do you want do you want the downspout 36 inches and foldable or you just want it extended uh, try to take some time and think through that and work with your realtor if you're lucky and you have a realtor like me that has a construction background i can probably help you word that in a way that makes sure that you get things fixed not only properly to the home inspector who is not knowledgeable on all subjects by the way um, and gets things corrected the way that you'd want them going forward during your home ownership those are some big things with home inspectors um, this is always a very tense part of the negotiation process because of this report that comes from the buyer and goes to the seller with all this and all this uh, wording in it that i previous, previously mentioned it tends to make people angry so make sure that you put the right kind of context and tone into what you want to have repaired and make sure your realtor has a conversation with the seller's realtor to understand that tone and what is a deal breaker so sometimes you might put a bunch of things in there and a lot of them aren't deal breakers and there's only a couple that are deal breakers and i get that from the negotiation process you might you know they can come back and say, I'm not fixing two of the three, or they're doing all of them. It's a, it's a juggling act, what will work best for you, and then that deal with that seller. But uh, definitely have your home looked at unless you're, they have the background or trade. But remember, home inspectors in Colorado are not certified, meaning that trades have significantly more knowledge about the systems, what is uh, permitted, what is not as far as the county bu regional building department goes. Uh, a lot of times home inspectors will cite things that does not meet code or does not meet permit. They're getting a little bit better about saying that because nine times out of ten they are flat wrong when it comes to that. And the uh, contractor that comes in all will come in and look at it and go, no, this is completely within code. And you know, we just wasted everybody's time. And now the, the seller is going to come back to you as the buyer and say there's nothing wrong with it. And you're going to believe your home inspector because you're home, you hired a home inspector. And you're thinking he's he's got the most knowledge when probably he does not he or she so take note you need to take some pause and, and realize who you're dealing with as far as um, trades being hvac plumbing mechanical electrical contractors that are um, licensed to do that work in the county much higher knowledge base than your typical home inspector that i've seen i haven't found one that's super knowledgeable and even if i did i wouldn't think they're going to be knowledgeable across all trades that very very unlikely so home inspectors good in some cases trades are good in others and also as far as foundations goes if you have any issues or concerns about the foundation of a home definitely have a, um, a structural engineer come and look at it there are services that will come out and and do a survey for you that are typically repair companies now you're asking the guy that does the repair to give you an an idea if this something needs to be fixed sometimes you might not get legit answers there where a structural engineer will come in and just say this is what needs to be fixed or this is no big deal and you get a much clearer picture because they don't get paid to fix it so depending on the severity I would sometimes I'll recommend a structural engineer sometimes I'll go with one of these lower grade inspectors it just depends on what's going on that's what you need to know when it comes to home inspectors I hope you found this video useful. My name is Chris again with Homes in 719.com here in Colorado Springs. If you're looking for a realtor, I'd love to work with you, and I hope you found this video very useful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.